The given openings that appear at grade 6 in the ABRSM exams are usually a little bit more complex than the ones you saw at grade 5. This means sometimes the rhythms are a bit more intricate and often it also means that there is an element of chromaticism in the melody. The word chromatic comes from the Greek word for colour and chromatic notes are ones which add colour or melodic interest into a tune. So what is a chromatic note? Well, a chromatic note is one which doesn't normally exist in the key of the piece because it's not in the scale. As a simple example, if a piece is in C major, the note F sharp would be chromatic because it's not in the C major scale. In the key of A minor, F sharp and G sharp are not chromatic because they are part of the A melodic minor scale. But the note D sharp is chromatic because it's not a member of any type of A minor scale. Chromatic notes are used for two distinct purposes in music. They're used when music modulates and they're used to simply add melodic variety. In the given opening, any chromatic notes will be there to add interest to the melody and not for modulation purposes. It's too soon to modulate in bars 1 or 2. We'll take a look at modulation in the next lesson. If the given opening you're working on does contain some chromatics, you will be expected to use more of them in your own part of the composition if you want to get full marks. By using chromatic notes, a composer's palette is vastly extended. Instead of being restricted to the seven or so notes from the scale, all 12 notes can be made usable. But you have to use them carefully. You can't just throw accidentals on the page and hope for the best. Just like with every other aspect of the composition, chromatic notes should be used in the same way as they were in the given opening. Which means you will need to analyse their purpose in the first two bars and use them in the same way elsewhere. Usually, chromatic notes are added as auxiliary notes or passing notes. Here's a given opening which is typical for this grade. The first thing you need to do is to work out whether the accidental here is being used chromatically or whether it's just part of the normal minor scale system. There's no key signature so at first glance the key might be C major or A minor. The D sharp is not a member of either of those keys so it must be a chromatic auxiliary note. Don't forget that to work out whether it's major or minor, you need to see whether the opening fits chords 1 and 5 in the major or minor key. In this case, bar 1 fits chord 5-7 in A minor, which is the chord notes E, G sharp, B and D. And bar 2 fits chord 1. Working out the harmony is also going to help you deal with the chromatic notes correctly. The next thing to do is to work out the relationship of the chromatic note within the implied harmony. In this case, the harmony is an E major chord, and so the chromatic note is now one semitone or half step below the root of that chord, instead of being a tone or whole step lower. In fact, this is one of the most common types of chromaticism. Let's take a look at some chords in C major to illustrate this. If we add a non-chord lower auxiliary note below the root of each triad and stick to the notes from the C major scale, each chord sounds like this. The note we added below the chord is sometimes a semitone or half step but more often a tone or whole step. The most important chord in any key is, of course, the tonic chord, and in this case, it's a semitone.
This semitone rise has an almost magnetic pull on it. If we then copy this magnetic semitone pull over onto the other chords by raising them by a semitone, we spice them up slightly without changing their fundamental harmony. Listen again, this time each root of the chord will move with a semitone or half step. You can do the same thing with the third of the chord too. And you can do the same thing within your composition. Add chromatics as auxiliary non-chord notes and you won't change the underlying harmony. Here's the minor key composition I created in the last lesson. This is what it sounds like at the moment without any added chromatics. There are quite a few places where the root or third of the chord is used with a diatonic auxiliary note. Some of them move by tones or whole steps at the moment, so I can add an accidental to them to make the magnetic semitone step. Listen again, the melody feels a bit more dynamic now. Chromatic passing notes occur between two notes which are a scale step apart. So if you see something like this in the given opening, make sure you use at least another one or two chromatic passing notes elsewhere in the piece. In this case, it's an unaccented passing note, so you would want to use further chromatic passing notes in a similar way. By the way, if the given opening doesn't contain any chromatics, it doesn't mean you can't use any in your piece, but do use them sparingly.